What is up you guys? My name is Natalie and welcome to it. Welcome to my channel if you are new and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. A lot of you guys are not subscribed to my channel. Always free to make a YouTube account and you can just go ahead and click that subscribe button. Give this video a like. Comment down below if you're in nursing school, wanting to be in nursing school, applying, anything like that. I love to hear from you guys in the comments. I read every single one. I may not be able to reply to every single one of you guys, but I'm definitely going to try to get better at that. It's just been crazy. Anyway, welcome to it. My name is Natalie if you're new and I'm so happy you joined on this video if you are returning I'm so grateful for you. Thank you so much for sticking with me It's been a while since I uploaded things have just been super hectic recently with nursing school classes being crazy Personal life stuff friends and oh my gosh, it's just been absolutely crazy So I really appreciate that you guys have stayed with me through it all and even those who have subscribed to my channel since my last video so i want to say thank you so much i'm so happy to see you here today as you saw by the title i'm going to be showing you my study tips and tricks to get good grades in nursing school this is what's helped me i know that every class in nursing school can kind of have a different study routine so i'm going to be talking about the typical fundamentals and how i study for that in nursing school so the first thing i want to talk about is you need to find a place where you can study with no distractions it's a quiet room and you're not going to be interrupted i have this room that i'm filming in right now it's like my office i guess i don't know it's really weird it's just a space that is quiet and i have a desk and i'm by myself and it's really really nice to be in here and i can study efficiently um and if you want to listen to music i definitely recommend putting on like the low-key um, study beats you really don't want to listen to music that has words that are popular because your brain is going to be thinking about the song the next lyric or whatever because it just happens so i cannot study when i'm listening to just regular music that you're fine on the radio or spotify or whatever so i definitely recommend if you have to listen to something you have to have some background noise noise putting on music that doesn't have words because otherwise your brain is just going to be running in circles going back to the song going back to what you're studying and it's just not going to work i also don't recommend having netflix or a youtube video on the background i am so guilty of that you guys I just recently was watching Emily in Paris and I blew through the whole thing in like one day. Um, but it was, you know, you should not have anything like that on the background. I, in the past, I would do that. It's not good. You, you don't study the best you can. So you're really going to have to find some discipline for yourself to not do that. The another tip I have is that you're really going to have to prioritize your time and map out when you're going to be able to study, when you can fit this in between homework and classes. And you know, sometimes you may not be able to hang out with your friends. You're not going to be able to go out on the weekend. You may not be able to spend time with your boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other, your companion, whoever, because you know, nursing school is a priority right now for you. And sadly, like it's, you're working towards your career and it's so important for you to understand that. I've always had a hard time. I'm always like someone who can't say no. Um, so when someone asks me to hang out, I'm always like, yes, absolutely. And then I'm like thinking in my head, like I really should be studying right now. I should really be doing homework. So that is something that I've definitely improved on. And I want you guys to understand how important that is as well. Remember to take breaks, take a time out of your week, like a day where you spend you time, you go hang out with your friend, you go hang out with whoever and you know give yourself a mental break because you're gonna need that in nursing school because this is such a heavy studying major <laughs> nursing is really hard <laughs> i want to talk about my study tips i learned and some tricks that have kept me on track to having good grades in nursing school and the first thing i want to talk about is having a wall calendar this one is from target and i love this because i put all of my assignments on here and i can map out when i'll have some time to study it may not really look like it but um i do find times to study in here and also have a mental day break because you need it you'll need it in nursing school trust me so yeah this is really good it's from target um if you just search up like wall calendar or something i'm sure something will pop up i really 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 love it this one's by sugar paper essentials i just think it's cute dainty and what also helps me is that i use different highlighter colors for each class every color has a different meaning to it 
and I just love to stay organized. I'm definitely someone who loves to have a to-do list, a checklist, and check it off. So the next thing that goes along with that is a little planner and this one is just a 2021 little small planner that I love to use I got this one from Target as well I like it to map out my week let's go to last week love it to map out my week and show you exactly what is going on you can add some more info in here just a bigger spread for you so I like small ones because they're easy to carry around. They're not as bulky. I have a big one and I decided I don't use it. So yeah, it's just good. Have one planner, one that's going to fit with you. You can take this in your purse, you know, it's good. Keep on track. Know when you can study. Know when you can hang out with your friends, you know. That's really good. The first thing I like to do when it comes to studying is I like to print out my lesson plan for each concept and fundamentals and it's really great because the most important thing in there is that student learning student learning outcomes that's what it's called for me and basically that is what the professors want you to learn what knowledge they want you to obtain while learning this concept i keep all of my notes in my lesson plans in this big binder and this one is just for fundamentals itself so i'm going to go over what a lesson plan looks like i printed this one out i like to print them at the beginning of every concept starting so yeah it just has your concepts and exemplars your related learning outcomes and the student learning outcomes i have those highlighted that is what you need to know and that is what i base my notes off of so once you have those printed out i also like to print out these slideshows um powerpoints that my professors give to us and i like to print them in this style it is three slides to a page and that gives you these vertical lines i'll show you it just looks like this. Having those three lines allow you to really add some different information into it. A lot of professors just read off their PowerPoint, but then they'll add information that's not on there that you need to know. So those three lines are really good at, um, you know, jotting down that quick information, which I really recommend. So once I have gone through the lesson plan and I've done the um, jotting down the different information that my professor has gone over within lecture or a recorded lecture or something like that. I will then make my own notes. What's really nice is that our professor, um, professors we have two for this class, they will give us an exam blueprint. And honestly, all that is is just the student learning outcomes in the lesson plan. They just put them all together on one page for us. So it's just more organized. And I base my notes off of that. So I'm going to show you what they look like. They are literally nothing special. I feel like they're kind of quite simple, but this is what works for me. So at the top, I just have the concept and this one was health promotion. And then I have the student student learning outcomes right here in highlight in purple and the information um, that I need to know underneath. So like identified the common health risk. That's a student learning outcome that I need to know the information I need to gather. And I just have the info underneath it. And I go through the whole thing doing the whole notes like this for each concept. And that really helps me put it into my brain. I love to handwrite it because it's like muscle memory kind of you know like you'll write it down and it also goes back to your brain and i don't know i just feel like it's really really good writing things down tend to stick better for me than typing on a computer and i was really in between on what i wanted to do but i definitely reverted back to the old ways of just jotting notes down in a notebook once i have done that i'm not completely done with my notes that is going over the powerpoint and going over the lectures i will dive into my book and i will read what they want us to go over it and what I like to do because there is so much information in this textbook, I will go ahead and tab at the top the concepts that we are learning and what they need us to go over because there's just so much information in here that you're not going to be tested over. So at the top, like I said, I have the concepts tabbed and the yellow was for my first eight weeks course of fundamentals and the blue is for the second eight week course of fundamentals. So I do have them color coded and if you can see how they're kind of shiny, I like to... I like to put packing tape over the tops of them. That way they're more sturdy and they don't rip and they just, you know, stay in place. I actually got this tip from Madison's Nursing Journey because she does this and I was like, oh my gosh, it looks so good. And 
I stole that from her and I think you all should go watch her video as well if you haven't I really enjoyed it um, so the next thing I like to do also is get some tabs on the side here I don't know if you can see that I'm trying not to be in focus so I need to stand up this one just says delirium and dementia those are just two definitions that I really need to know for the concept of cognition so I just put them on the side so I can always refer back to them so anyway, this is a really, really good way to just go straight to that concept you're learning. And I do highlight within my book. I did buy this book. I bought all of my nursing textbooks except Patho. That one was able to be rented. So yeah, and that way I can highlight them. I'm just going to try to flip to one that's highlighted. My book isn't highlighted that much. You can go in and highlight as much as you need to. But honestly, I feel like if I highlight a lot, it just gets confusing um and a lot of the stuff that's in bold i'll just start with like sigmund freud and then um the steps i need to know are already bolded so i understand that i need to do that but if you need to highlight that then go ahead and do it for you i just don't suggest like highlighting a whole paragraph because like you know what chunk of that is really important what information is really key that you need to know so just be careful what you're highlighting and don't highlight too much that it's just too confusing hopefully that makes sense the reason why I look at my book last is when I'm studying is because there's just so much information and I like to go over my lectures and the PowerPoints first because I have an idea of what I am going over and because there's just so much information in this book, I kind of get overwhelmed. I use it as a last resort to really find that other information that I need. Um, that I'll be tested over and obviously I do read the chapters before I go into um, class but it's so confusing that I really can't take notes until I've had my class over it because it's just so much so much information the next thing I like to do is I like to make study cards and study cards what I like to make flash cards these are really nice because you can take them with you wherever you go if you're sitting at a restaurant and you're waiting for someone you can pull out your flash cards I like to actually take them before a test and just sit in the hallway about 30 minutes before and just review my flash cards and I think that's really helpful um, so I definitely recommend doing that if you don't want to make flashcards on physical paper you can always use quizlet quizlet is a great study source or study tool to use you can go ahead and make your own flashcards on there you can seriously create your own test by putting in your information everything it's just so nice you can also like you know organize your flashcards your study sets by courses and you can put your school in there so you know if other people would take that course and you want to share have them public for other people to use you can do that as well so I think that's a really really nice study tool to use if you haven't heard of Quizlet go check it out it's free to make an account so I definitely recommend that so these were all my study tips for nursing school I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see like a study with me video where I just post a video of literally me studying and showing you how I study I guess or like even going live definitely let me know if you have any study tips for me or the people in the comment section go ahead and drop them I love to read your guys comments um, I read every single one so yeah I may not reply to them but I do see them all it's really hard for me to like reply and sit down and take the time because I just feel like everything right now is so new to me in nursing school and it's crazy but I'm definitely going to get better at that I promise so go ahead I want you to comment something if you have a study tip if you're going to be in nursing school if you want to be in nursing school if you're already in nursing school something like that just definitely comment and give this video a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and my Instagram is always in the description and I just want to say thank you so much for making it to the end of this video and yeah I will see you in the next one bye guys